Hey, what do you say weekend warriors? Welcome back. Today we're gonna make some smoky barbecue sauce. It's really, really simple. It takes about 20 minutes to make and you should probably have almost all of the ingredients already. It goes great on pork, pork ribs, chicken, brisket. I'm gonna have some ribs in the smoker today. That's not what this video is about. It's just about making the sauce and you could use your stovetop burner. And because I'm already outside, I'm gonna use my Tao burner. That's T-A-O, Tao burner. And this is charcoal fired. You put some charcoal here in the top and then I can put my pot right on top of it. This is just an air vent down here so it can breathe. And so what I'm gonna do is open up my firebox. I already have a bed of charcoal in here. I'm gonna put some splits of oak on top of it right after I do this. A little pair of charcoal tongs and I'm gonna get enough charcoal in here to cook our barbecue sauce. That's probably good. And now a couple splits of oak has nothing to do with the sauce, just the ribs I'm gonna be cooking today. Put these in. And those splits are pretty dry, so they're gonna go right up in flames. We'll get this door closed and let that start to heat up. And now that we have all that out of the way, I'm gonna start with the wet ingredients. And this recipe came from a book, or it's actually adapted from a book that I have called Cool Smoke uh, by Tuffy Stone. He calls it his cool smoke barbecue sauce. I've changed a few things uh, to make it more suited to my taste. And I think you guys are gonna like this. So it starts with three cups of ketchup. I'm not gonna be measuring, uh, but three cups is 24 ounces. And this container is 38 ounces. So that looks about right. And then we're gonna go with three quarters of a cup of distilled white vinegar. Quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar. Three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. So go one, two, three. Quarter cup of molasses. And then one or two chipotle peppers, uh, depending on how much spice you like. If you're not sure, start with one. That's a big one. And then I'll scoop out just a little bit of the adobo sauce. It's gonna give it that smokiness. It's gonna give it a little bit of heat, but not too much. And then we're gonna balance that out with some dark brown sugar, one cup will do. All right, then you want a tablespoon of chili powder. Do it with my hand just so I don't accidentally overdo it. It's about a tablespoon. About a teaspoon of salt. This is kosher salt and I believe it's diamond crystal. About a tablespoon of ground cumin. All right, I'm gonna use up the rest of my smoked paprika, so about a tablespoon. And then a tablespoon of sweet Hungarian style paprika. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. And then two teaspoons of onion powder. All right, only two more ingredients. So I have some uh, black pepper, about two teaspoons. All right, so the last thing you gotta do is pour in three quarters of a cup of water, and then you're gonna whisk it to combine it. Then we can throw it on the burner. So let's just get this incorporated. And just in case you're wondering, that chipotle pepper should break down during the cooking process. It's pretty soft. Um, and I'm also smashing it down right now with the whisk, trying to break it up. Otherwise, if you wanna get your cutting board dirty, go ahead and chop it, but it should be good. So just 
just get all those seasonings mixed in. And then I'll put it right down on my burner. You want to bring it up to a simmer over a medium heat and let it continue to cook for about 20 minutes, stirring it constantly once it starts bubbling. You do not want to burn this. So once it comes up to a simmer, I'll come back and uh, show you how it's looking. All right, that sauce is about to simmer and it really tastes best the next day after it's been refrigerated. It'll hold for about two weeks in your refrigerator. Um, so I haven't even started my ribs yet on purpose. This is gonna go cool down, let those flavors develop later, but uh, simple slab of baby backs. And I picked the windiest day of the week to film a video, so this will probably go everywhere. I'm using a Meat Church Holy Voodoo on these ribs. No binder, they're already kind of wet. And I'm gonna go pretty liberal. Build up a nice crust. And then I'll get the backside. And these will be ready to go in any minute now. And I'm gonna be running my smoker today between 275 degrees Fahrenheit and 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Anywhere in that range will be fine. And our barbecue sauce has begun to simmer. So from this point, you can basically set your timer for about 20 minutes and just keep stirring it. Basically until it thickens up. All right, so I'll come back in 20 minutes and show you how it looks. All right, and while that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead, throw in my ribs for later tonight. And I'll probably smoke them just like this for about three hours. Then I'll wrap them in foil for an hour. And then for me, at that point, they're pretty much done. Take them out, put some sauce on it, let it set back up and they're good to go. All right, it's been about 20 minutes and it's thickened up pretty nice. Give you a quick look here. Just check on the firebox. time for another split so I'm gonna get this over on the table and we'll do a quick taste test and see how it is what you want to do is let this cool down and then put it into a glass jar or several glass jars and you want to taste it now if you think it needs more heat maybe you add some more adobo sauce maybe a little cayenne pepper if you think it needs a little salt add a little more salt this would be the time to do it and it's kind of the consistency I'm looking for. Not runny, but not real thick, kind of right in between. It's going to thicken uh, once it goes in the refrigerator, but that's pretty much perfect. So let me get a little taste test. It's awesome. It's got a little bit of everything, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of heat. It's not so much heat though that it's gonna burn your mouth. It's perfect, really. So, like I said, this is gonna go into a glass jar. It can sit in the refrigerator for about two weeks. I'm gonna put it on my ribs tonight. I'll put a nice slather of the sauce on. So hey, there you have it. Very simple barbecue sauce. It takes 20 minutes to make. It tastes as good, if not better, than what you would get in the store. If you like what you see here, don't forget to give me that like, hit subscribe, and check out one of those two videos right there, and I'll see you over there.